So this problem reads, guys, at a certain time of day, uh, the angle of elevation to the sun is 40 degrees to the nearest foot. Oh, I already said that. To the nearest foot, find the height of a tree whose shadow is 35 feet long. So again, guys, what I want to do is just have a little fun, right? Like, here's the sun, OK? Here's a tree. OK, it's creating a shadow, right? And the distance of that shadow is obviously going to be, what do I say, 35 feet, right? And we have an angle of elevation, which is 40 degrees. Um, and therefore, um, that is basically the, uh, the situation. Now again, we need to create a triangle, like, because obviously what we've talked about in this, um, in today is we're going to be, everything's going to be from a right triangle. So what I'm going to do is now extract the right triangle that I'm going to need to solve. Right? So this is just to kind of get an idea of what everything looks like. And now, basically, here is my triangle. And now I need to figure out, well, what is it I'm trying to solve for? Well, it says, try to find the height of the tree. So let's call this h. Right? So now I've just created a variable, h, which represents the height of the tree. Yes? OK. But I, I want to define this. So I'm just going to say h equals the height of the tree. So now I have defined my variable. And now I need to set up an equation. So based on this equation, if I need to, um, if I need to solve for h, I look at the sides that I have. It's a right triangle. You can see I have the opposite and the adjacent side. And I have the angle. So therefore, the trigonometric ratio that I'd want to use would be tangent. So I can just say the tangent of 40 degrees equals opposite over or opposite over adjacent. And then I could go from the answer from here, but if I wanted to write another equation, I could do 35 feet times the tangent of 40 degrees. Now again, making sure that my calculator is in degree mode, you're simply just going to go ahead and type that into your calculator. Um, you can just type in you know, 35 times the tangent of 40 degrees. And rounding to the nearest foot, I'm getting 29 feet. OK, make sure you have your units. And since we've already defined h, I don't need to write that into a sentence. We're good from there. Cool? OK.